And Kiamba Member of Parliament Paul Koinange was laid to rest in his Kiamba home in an emotional ceremony attended by family and government representatives. The burial held in strict adherence to the Ministry of Health burial protocols only saw 50 people attend the event. Koinange was eulogized as a man of the people who put the country first, a family celebrating the life of a man they said used his final moment to bring them together. Chemitai Goen reports. The late legislator's final journey began at around 11 a.m. as his body arrived to its final resting place. Koinange, who bravely fought the battle with COVID-19, lost the fight Wednesday last week after 16 days in hospital. And in line with the government's directive that burials be conducted within 72 hours of death and in strict adherence to other prescribed measures, only a handful of mourners attended the ceremony. At the compound, while labels reminding those in attendance to wear masks, wash their hands and social distance. Even the arrangement of the seats in the tents followed the 1.5 meter recommendation. The over 3,000 large family was represented by 40 members, his wives, children and grandchildren, remembering a man they said was a tower of the family and whose final wish was for the family to unite and stay together. You immersed yourself into doing the things of God and gave of your time, money and other resources to ministry. As a people of Kiamba and indeed all Kenyans, hold your good memories our hearts keep the love. I can say the last testament of dad's life, the greatest thing he's done, at least is for these two bombers, and now one. His colleagues in parliament, led by Speaker Justin Muturi, fondly remembered his role in establishing the National Prayer Breakfast, which he chaired to put the country before God. In the National Security and Administration Committee, which he also chaired, Koinange was lauded for his steadfast mission to restore peace in war-torn areas. As a committee, we will make sure everything that Honorable Paul Koinange started, we will finish and achieve. It is also the achievements of our dear brother and friend that encourage us to do our best to attain the goals of betterment. Paul, as you know, was a great supporter of His Excellency the President. A very rare trait for a politician if you particularly come from Kiambu. And I believe even when we are long gone, like Paul has left us, what we started with Paul in 2015 will live within our parliamentary, parliamentary fraternity forever. Prior to his falling ill, Koinange led a delegation of his committee to Garissa County to address an insecurity situation there. On his return, he fell ill and following tests, he was confirmed to have contracted COVID-19. He was admitted on March 15th at the Nairobi Hospital. Unfortunately, on March 31st, he succumbed to the effects of the virus at age 71. Actually, Raila was in bed together with my brother the same time, suffering from the same uh, disease, and both of them were struggling for their lives. The waters are bitter, but tomorrow they will be sweeter. A requiem to celebrate his life will be organized once the restrictions are lifted to allow many more people who are left out to participate. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. And as yet another Kenyan succumbed to the effects of COVID-19, during the burial, the clarion call to Kenyans across the country is that they strictly adhere to the protocols outlined by the Ministry of Health to ensure the war against COVID-19 is won and that the country resumes to normalcy. Chamutai Goin Citizen TV, Kiamba, Kiambu County.